Pregnant woman 8 months pregnant suddenly finds blood leaking from her trousers. She rushed to the hospital for a checkup. Ultrasound showed that the baby was normal, but the doctor had a hard time. He told Aisha bluntly if she insists on having her daughter. Aisha's birthday would be the day of her death. Aisha did not hesitate to choose her daughter in order to give her daughter the love she deserved after her death. Aisha chose 18 birthday presents from children's illustrations, globes, and expensive pianos. Each gift was chosen according to age. David kept his wife's gift safe. Every year, he threw Anna a big party. Anna grew up and had her own ideas. She began to hate silly gifts that didn't fit the bill. Celebrating her mother's birthday on the day of her death also made her feel more and more guilty. It was the day of her seventh birthday party. Anna reluctantly removes the cloth from the piano and plays forehanded with her partner. She suddenly slammed the lid on the piano and smashed it on her partner's fingers. Not a word of apology from Anna. She shouted, You know, love me gay stun 10 14 or a while you. Ten years later, Anna had reached the age of 18. During training with the diving team, she deliberately tricked her partner into taking a difficult dive. The two of them fall into the water and her partner is knocked out on the spot. Anna didn't show any concern. Now she's depressed. Today is her 18th birthday. It means that her mother's birthday present for her is now down to the last one. Guilt swells in her heart. She refuses to get out of the car for her birthday party and insults her friends and family to cover up her guilt. Her father reprimands her emotionally. Anna unleashes her most rebellious side. She runs away from home when her father isn't looking and picks up a car from a random older man on the side of the road. Anna follows him to the bar. She doesn't hesitate to drink the drink he hands her. During the conversation, she discovers that he is a friend of her father's. He gives her a serious lecture and calls her father. Anna rushes out of the bar. She was hit by an oncoming car while crossing a green belt. While she is unconscious, the woman appeared in front of her as if she had been photographed on a tombstone. She stood up on the woman's arm to show that she was all right. The kind woman was still unsure and put Anna in the car to return to her home. Anna got out of the car. She thought the exterior of the house looked particularly similar to her own. The kitchen, the furnishings, the furniture. This was Anna's home. She looked around in confusion and her eyes settled on the calendar on the wall. As she slowly approached, the calendar read the year 2001. This was the first time she had seen her mother. Incredulous, she runs to the bathroom and touches her face to make sure it wasn't a dream. When she was sure, she excitedly picked up her mother's jewelry, smelling her mother's perfume close to her mother's bathrobe. It was her mother's scent that she hadn't had time to feel. Soon, her father from 18 years ago returns home, unlike the serious and melancholy David that Anna remembered. In his youth, David looked very energetic. The couple wanted to take Anna home. Anna was forced to stay on the pretext that she had no home to return to. The next day, she was even justified in offering to take care of the pregnant Elle because David was away on a race and reasonably offered to look after the pregnant Aisha, home without her father. Anna was able to enjoy the company of her mother. They went to the Mecca of dates overlooking the city. Cool breezes on a pleasant evening. A night out at a hotel with its own pool. Anna shows Aisha the results of her diving lessons. She invites Elsa to join her in the water. In the pool, Anna leans down to Aisha's belly, listening to her own movements as a baby. The beauty of time with her mother is like a dream. The cruelty of reality is not diminished by the beauty of dreams. At home, Anna unearths Aisha's tumor diagnosis. It turns out that Aisha had terminal cancer before she was born. Anna followed Aisha into a discussion with her patients. The members of the group shared their lives in a positive way. They believe they will succeed in their fight against cancer. Aisha, who is always upbeat, is depressed. When David returned from the game, she told David about her illness. The two of them went to various hospitals. The results were largely the same. David couldn't accept the harsh verdict. He rages in the consulting room but cannot find a cure for his wife's cancer. Looking at David's back, smoking alone in the garden, Anna realized that after all these years, her father was the one who suffered the most. The loss of his beloved had made his vitality fade fast. Anna went up to her father to talk to him. She said he was a very strong man and wanted to show Aisha how strong he was. David accepted Anna's advice. The next day he bought new paint and painted the walls with Anna. Aisha was moved by the sight of her active husband. Just when Anna thought they would live happily ever after, she suddenly found herself in the emergency room. She was in a hospital bed, unconscious, with her father standing beside the doctor in a state of anxiety. It turns out that she hadn't traveled back in time, but only briefly to 18 years ago. Anna didn't want to lose the chance to see her mother. She quickly fled the room to go back to her mother. Aisha knew she was dying. 
Her greatest wish is to prepare 18 birthday presents for her daughter. She asks her patience and discusses with her friends, but she still can't come up with the perfect gift. Finally, she decided to ask Anna, 18, to complete the list for her. She took Anna to a musical instrument shop. Sure enough, Aisha immediately fell in love with the piano that 7-year-old Anna hated so much. Anna cites a whole host of reasons why she should exchange the piano for a drum kit. Aisha was happy to take her up on her offer. Anna jumped up and down with joy. She keeps her old shirt that Aisha wants to throw away and learns to fry apple slices with Aisha. The first day she traveled back in time to 18 years ago, David and Elsa treated her to apple fritters. David proudly called it a family secret. Anna never got to eat them. She was already in tears in her mother's arms so that there would be no regrets. David and Aisha had a makeup wedding. The guests wished Elsa the happiest of all. The white wedding dress was beautiful and elegant, but it was stained with blood at the chest. Aisha's body couldn't hold out any longer. Her daughter's 18th gift was still chosen. She chose a long blue dress and invited her friends to try it on. When it was Anna's turn to try it on, she says the dress will be out of fashion in 18 years. Aisha asked, amused. How Anna knew, because I'm your daughter, Aisha was frozen in place. She thought back to the birthmark on her hand that she had seen earlier. The inexplicable appearance of Anna and the inexplicable feeling of closeness. She shuddered as she accepted this reality. She went into the fitting room to hug Anna but fell to the floor. The time left for Aisha was up. Anna, who had suddenly appeared, had also suddenly disappeared. Her husband says it was just a dream. Aisha insists that her husband return the dress on the operating table. Elsa asks for her notebook. She writes down what she wants to say to her daughter at the end of her life. And Anna, recovering from the accident, embraces her father in the hospital room who comes to pick her up. She finally realizes that she is loved by the best parents in the world with all her heart. Anna returns home and turns on the piano, which has been sealed away for a long time. She played on the keys as if she were touching her mother's fingers that had fallen on it. She returned to her room and her father handed her her 18th present. It was the same old blue dress that had gone out of fashion. Her father never gave it back. Anna admired how beautiful it was. Along with the dress was her mother's last letter. Excuse me semigaticulous maladama. And alone come out of it but sinking with your vision out there. Each word was a sign of her mother's deep love. And the last gift she chose for Anna was a step-by-step -step apple fritter. Anna pinned it to the kitchen cupboard. Covered. As if love never stops and never leaves. 18 Gifts is based on a true story. The story of a mother with cancer who prepares 18 gifts for her unborn daughter. A mother's love is the most sincere love in the world. She did everything in her power to prepare and participate in her daughter's life. Death scythe cut off her hope. But love is strong enough to transcend time, life and death. Gifts may go out of fashion, but love never dies.